It is late April, and trees are starting to flower and produce new leaves and cones. Canada geese return by the thousands and are already starting to lay eggs. Raptors take to the skies, and morning doves are as wary as ever. Earlier this month, we saw many male red-winged blackbirds establishing their territories. Now we see the female red-winged blackbird. Its plumage is different than the male and is more suited to camouflage and sitting in the nest. What could influence where the female will build the nest? Let us take a look at the following paper, in which researchers describe a habitat with vegetation mostly uniform in height. They wanted to know whether females would prefer areas with higher perches, possibly so that her mate could be more prominently perched and thus fend off dangers. To test this, they divided the habitat into 112 20 by 20 meter regions and placed high perches randomly in half of them. They observed the following data. Based on the number of nests, if the artificially placed perches had no effect on site selection, we would expect the table on the right which represents the null hypothesis. Are these different enough to conclude that the artificial perches actually had an effect on nest site selection? We can use a chi-square test to test the null hypothesis that perch placement had no effect on nest selection. In such a two-way table, the test statistic is 4.43 on one degree of freedom. The probability of such an observed statistic or greater under the null hypothesis would be 0 0.035. With such a small p-value and the observed direction of the effect, it seems likely that the perch placement did in fact make the areas with perches more attractive to the females when it came to choosing nest sites. The authors also looked at the behavior of the male red-winged blackbirds in response to experimentally induced predator stimuli and nest success against having high perches. Their observations further supported the idea that higher perches are an effective habitat feature that leads to a greater probability of nesting success. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time for another episode of Wild Earth.